You know what time it is. It's time to be empowered by Greerology. Up, up the volume. Up, up the volume. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen to a special message from T. Ray Greer Jr. Hey friends, how are you? So great to have this opportunity um, to share with you once again. My name is T. Ray Greer. And um, as always, I want to share with you, talk to you, and address some things in the area of credit. Today is an interesting conversation I think we're going to have. And I really want you to be interactive as possible and make a comment. Let me know you're in the room. Would it be just saying hi or what city you're from? Uh, trust me, T. Ray Greer needs to make as many friends as possible because I need things from you. And preferably you need some things from me that will help us in this thing called life. And uh, no one knows everything. It takes everybody to know everything. And I've truly grown to know that. Uh, I want to talk about, um, in essence today, um, the right questions you should ask credit repair companies. The right questions you should ask credit repair companies. Hey, Doc, how you doing? And uh, that's one of my chapters in my new book. Uh, it deals with credit repair companies. Uh, credit repair counseling, credit repair counselors, credit repair uh, nonprofit um, lawyers. It talks about all of that in my book. If you have the book, it's around page 50, a matter of fact. And there, there are some things I want to help you um, for no other reason to help you avoid pitfalls as it relates to your credit report that desperately the credit score gleam off. Uh, to make sure they have it in their system to give you the algorithm and the pattern what your credit score should be. Um, oh, good to see you, Doc. Love you and appreciate the work you do in our community. So, with that being said, I believe, this is my personal belief, I believe you could do it yourself, number one. Let me get that out early. I believe you could do the work yourself. It's not as demanding as you may think it is, and the information is not ambiguous. Trust me, it's it's out there. Um and that's why I push this book hard. I push it hard because if you just take a little time, a little intentionality, and follow the system, you can repair your credit and, and really stabilize it and monitor it for future uh, reference to make sure it is what you want it to be. Uh, but if you want to go that route um, to hire someone to address your credit repair issues, uh, then let's look at this. Number one, find out if the company or the entity you're using is a for-profit or a non-profit credit repair organization. Let me say that again. The number one question is to find out is the organization a for-profit or non-profit entity. And let me tell you why that's painfully important. It's important because simply this. Non-profit tend not to be money-driven as it relates to helping you with your issue. Um, their focus is to truly help you and to make sure you have all the tools you need um, to create the life you want and to create the credit you desire, your credit score, and to have a clean credit report. Um, because they're governed by their passion and their mo their passion and their mission, their motives, and not by making dollars, not by making a profit. I'm not saying that all for profit credit repair companies are predatory. I'm not saying that by any means, but I am saying there will be times that you may run across a company that is a little bit more, um, a little bit more focused on making money than they are on making you a happy client. Okay, so it's a legitimate question that needs to be addressed, and you don't want to take that for granted. You certainly don't want to take that for granted by any means necessary. The second question I think is very key. And if you guys don't mind, please share. I cannot say this enough. Go to the bottom of your screen at the left and share. It is critical we get this information out to as many people as possible. Okay. Um, the second thing you want to make sure, when you're dealing with credit card repair companies or these entities, entities you want to make sure that you know whether or not their prices are fixed prices. In other words, the price they render for the services they give to you, would it fluctuate or would it be a fixed price? The worst thing you can do is to sign up with a company with the impression that you're going to pay a rate, a flat rate, for the services you're about to receive, only to find out at some point during the program 
you start seeing the prices escalate and you have no idea what happened. Uh, what should have been $250, you thought, for your credit repair, turns out that now it looks like it's going to cost you $750. And there's a possibility you're not going to get $750 worth of services. Just being realistic. I can't tell you how many times I've had to um, really coach and really, really help people who have been um, taken advantage of, thinking they had a flat rate only to discover that the rate fluctuated. Um, so that's painfully important. If you're going to clean your credit up, make sure you sign with a company who is giving you what they say they're giving you. All right? The next question. This is real key. This bell is to let you know this is important. The next question. Do they offer you a money-back guarantee? Do they offer you Hear me when I say this. This is critical. Do they offer you a money-back guarantee? Why is that important? Let me explain why it's significant. Um, a company that is truly willing to offer a money-back guarantee is a company that speaks volumes, that says they have faith in their services and in their product, and they value you so much that they're willing to say, if we're not able to please you or meet you at your need, we will give you your money back. That says volumes about the character and the integrity and the mission of that particular entity. If they're not willing to offer your money back, then it's something very strange about that company. And you should take that as a red flag. I'm sorry. You should really take that as a red flag. Um, because the truth of the matter is, if you're willing to secure a company and they should be working on your credit and they are so-called experts, experts in this area and yet they refrain or they take the opportunity for you to have your money returned back if you're not pleased, they are not concerned about you. They're covering and they're more concerned about themselves. And let me tell you again, that is a red flag. I thought I thought I saw Pastor Bonds in here. I'm not sure if I did, not I apologize. But if he is, man, let me say to you, thank you, sir, for all you do in our community. If you all know him, if he's not in the room, trust me, send him this video because I want to give him a major shout out. He's been such an inspiration in my life. And uh, I just thank God for him allowing me to come with his people and share with them the gospel and being such an example. Uh, love you, man. You are truly a rare find in this place we call America. Um, the next question. Can you guarantee a certain score at a certain time? Let me let me phrase that again. Can you guarantee a certain score improvement will be obtained? Let me put it that way. Can you guarantee a certain score improvement will be obtained? All of this, all of this and so much more has to be on the table when you begin to negotiate and talk to credit repair companies. Because at the end of the day, if they say to you that they can guarantee a credit score improvement of this number, let's say they say, let, um, let's just throw something out there. We guarantee that we can improve your credit by 120 points. You will have 120 points in 30 days. They have broken the law. No one can guarantee your credit score. No one can guarantee your credit score as it relates to improvement. I'm sorry. It's just not realistic. And there are some people who are very anxious. That they, they're very anxious to cover themselves to the degree where they make themselves look as seductive as possible to guarantee and solidify the sale. They want to consummate the sale. So they say to you what you want to hear. And you do want to hear perhaps 100 points. That does sound attractive, doesn't it? It's not realistic. It's not realistic for a company to tell you that they can guarantee you 120 points in 30 days. That is illegal, and that, my friend, is a red flag. If you've heard that, uh, just be leery about that company and be careful who you're working with, all right? Next thing, don't let anybody tell you that they can automatically remove anything that's negative on your credit. <laughs> It's not automatic. It's not automatic. It does not happen just because you desire for it to happen. Now, I'm not saying it can't be removed, 
but no one can guarantee it. And people who say they can guarantee that this and that can be taken off your credit, you should be concerned about their integrity. And you guys, I'm sorry, let me pause for a moment. Say this, let me say this. You guys can ask questions right now in real time. I will try to address them. If you have concerns, certainly do that. I will try to address them. Thank you for just tuning in for the most part, but forgive me for not saying that earlier. Uh, the next thing, what is the process of restoring credit? What is the process? I want to talk about this for, for a number of reasons, but um, let me say first of all, nobody's process is the same. Some people are suffering because of mortgage payments. Some people are suffering because of medical issues. Some people are suffering because of student loans. Some people are suffering because of charge-offs, collections. Some people are suffering because of judgments. Nobody's situation is the same. And that's why you have to stay away from the guaranteed type approach that many of these people are using towards you because you really have to understand everybody's credit score is a customized approach as it relates to analytically trying to really bring the problem to the forefront. Okay, so with that being said, the process is very different based on the individual. There is no direct, set in stone, cookie cutter solution to everyone's credit. There is none. Wake up. It's not realistic. This is why I offer on my website, edityourcredit.org, an opportunity for you to call me directly to set up, call me and get 30 minutes of consultation uh, because I understand that everybody's score is different and everybody's situation is different. And to really address the issues at hand, there needs to be a lot of conversation and a lot of uh, research on the documents. There needs to be a lot of research into your past history. There needs to be a lot of research in the things that are inaccurate on your credit report. And, and it takes your participation, okay? Trust me when I say that. Um, what is the time frame I can expect to see my credit improve? Man, this is a big one. So many people say all the time, listen, within 30 days, your credit will be this, that, and the other. And the truth of the matter is, um, <laughs> it's a wait and see approach. It may fix one person in 30 days, but another person may take 90 days. It's just based on the severity of your credit issues or your credit roles. Um, so to say to everybody, this person can do it in 30 days, it's a guaranteed fact that they can have your credit sparkly clean in 30 days. Beware of the rhetoric, okay? It is something that is used often, but it's not proven. So I, I, I would be very careful um, to say that your credit will automatically be repaired in a certain length of time, and that's very critical. Now in the book, if you follow my principles, you will start to see some improvement in 60 days, depending on your credit. The worse your credit is, the more improvement you will see over the course of time. Quicker. All right? And I want you to understand something. Let me say this carefully. You don't necessarily want someone who is fast, per se. You want someone who is efficient. Uh, basketball coach sent some recruiters out to get a couple of players for his team. And he has this awesome program. And he says the reason the program is awesome because they have efficient players. Doesn't mean they have the fastest players on the court, but they're efficient. Which means they can travel up and down the court without traveling. Uh, no penalties, no fouls. They pass to the right person when they want to pass the ball. Um, so they're, they're efficient. Um, he said years ago when he was going after the quick players... The quick players were very quick on the court, but they made a lot of turnovers. They passed the ball to the wrong teammate. They traveled. They doubled. Um, they, they didn't take care of the ball. And so now, even as it relates to credit, there are a lot of cats who will come out the gate running, saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But listen, do you not know if they miss or they make the wrong decision at a critical time, they may not get the chance to address it again. So there's a certain way they should address your credit issues because if they make the mistake and do the wrong thing at the wrong time, then they won't have a chance to fix it. So you're looking for people who are efficient, not necessarily people who are fast. I mean, CPAs will tell you, 
one calculation, just one calculation all, can cost thousands of dollars. So it's not something you want to go through fast. You want to comb through every detail to make sure you got it right. Um, next thing, can you provide references? Man, how significant is this? When you're working with people who say they can help you repair your credit, you need to get people, these companies, these representatives, who will provide references. Proven track records need to be something you, you, you really want to see. Have you done this for this client? Have you done this for that client? Can I see um, what you've done for them? Are there any archives, uh, any way I can talk to them, anything I can see, any letters that they wrote saying thank you for the work you've done in this area and that area? All of this matters. All of this counts. Trust you me. You need to get as much background on them as they're going to be asking background from you. And they're going to ask you a lot of things concerning your credit that's very personal. And you need to make sure you've done your homework. Okay? Point blank. Okay, guys. I hope you had a powerful experience with me on today and asking the right question for credit repair companies. I pray it bless you. If you have no questions, I'm about to conclude this um, session between you and I. Um... Go get the book, man. Get this book right here. It will bless you. And when I say this book will bless you, um, because I know some people have paid $700 and their credit score just did not it did not improve. Uh, it just didn't. They got hustled. Uh, but I'm giving you the facts. I'm giving it to you real. I'm giving it to you direct. And I want you to have the tools to be a winner in 2017. The climate has changed. We know this. It's going to change even more. Uh, but I want you to stay on top of it. Edit Your Credit is coming to a city, a church um, near you soon. Dates are filling even as we speak. And I'm thankful for those who have secured their dates. I will let you know in the future where I'll be at. But we're doing workshops on how to handle debt collectors. That's very powerful. Uh, I want to teach you, all, you guys how to really, really depict whether or not you're dealing with a predatory debt collector, uh, someone who is using practices that are not legal, um, how to spot the fair fairness of your collector on the other line to make sure they're using legal good practices as opposed to illegal. Uh, it's something very key. Um, how to distinguish the truth from the lie. You don't need anybody who's talking to you from the angle of alternative facts. You need the facts. When you ask a question, you pose a question to that person, they need to give you the truth and not give you what they need to bait your hook, to lure you in. They need to deal with you properly. Uh, some of you all are suffering from ID theft. Uh, identity is major as it relates to your credit, man. We're going to be dealing with all of these things and so much more. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Go to my website, edityourcredit.org. Edityourcredit.org. Peruse that website and prayerfully you'll find something that will help you. And go to the blog. We're going to have articles there about how to maintain good credit behavior, how to look at your debt and cut your expenses. We're going to look at all of that. Um, secondly, download my app. I got about 100 followers, and I'm thankful. I need 100 more because there are going to be some things coming down the pipe that I want to interact with you um, concerning your situation. There's a host of things on the app, not just the credit uh, that I, I'm dealing with in this season, but so many other things I want to bless you and, and really interact with you concerning marketing, the ministry, man. I really want to touch base with you on that. And how can I be a blessing to you? It's really about empowering um, the kingdom of God um, so people can have a stronger stance in such a weak economy. Um, it's, it's going to get tight before it gets better. I believe it's going to get better. I know it's going to get better, but it's going to get tight. It's going to shake down those who are ready and those who are not. Um, so listen, we don't have any questions. We don't have any comments. I'm thankful again for all of you who came to share with me on today. I'll be back. You know I will. Share this video with somebody who might find some benefit from it. And trust you me, you're just one click away from prosperity. If you don't want to be empowered, if you don't want to be encouraged, if you don't want to live a transformational life, please don't listen to Greerology. See you guys soon.